Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. We're covering quarterbacks that need to do something before the end of the season. Before I get right into it, I'm going to make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this season, I know the Lions are a dark horse, essentially, uh, to make the playoffs and, and, and to be possibly the number one seed. Not a dark horse to make the playoffs, but possibly get that number one seed. But you're looking at everything they've done from just the two losses that they have to the way that they play on defense, whatever they play on offense. But something sticks out. Something stands out. When I'm looking, the team is offensively playing well at times, defensively playing well at times. But there's one thing that it's an elephant in the room. While the Detroit Lions have been successful, I don't feel like the Detroit Lions brass is fully behind Jared Goff yet. When you look at Dan Campbell, they came together two, three years ago. They said they wanted to make a plan. They wanted to build this team up. They wanted to make a blue-collar team. They wanted to do X, Y, Z. But you got to think, Jared Goff still leaves stuff to be wanted in your mind. Because as good as he is, he's the former number one overall pick. But he doesn't essentially uh, get the job done when you want it. When you think of the big quarterback matchups, he doesn't uh, bring that mustard every single time that they play. So in my mind, as good as Jared Goss played, there is still better out there. When you think of there possibly being a quarterback in the draft, there possibly being a quarterback you could trade for, there's so many different options, but Jared Goff still has to prove that he's worthy of keeping that spot. I know it's not a bad situation like a Jimmy G where it's just decimal or anything like that, but you got to keep in mind, this Lions team is hungry and they're looking to take that next step. Is Jared Goff the guy that's going to take them to the next step? Is he going to take them to the promised land? Is he going to give them the ability to step up and go above and beyond and not only make the playoffs, but win in the playoffs? Is that Jared Goff? When we've seen him play inconsistently, like just last week, he almost gave the game away last week to the Bears. For three quarters, it was terrible football. In the fourth quarter, he played okay. So you got to keep in mind, not just one game here, not just one game there, but do the Lions really believe in him? When you have so many different teams and so many different players that are interchangeable and movable and, and all of a sudden they're on this team next year or on that team next year, do the Lions really believe in Jared Goff? Is there something out there that they could possibly make a trade for like a Trey Lance or could they make a trade or bring somebody in? It's possible. It may not happen, but it's possible. If they believe in Jared Goff, he would have a bigger contract essentially. Some would say. You got to think, the, with the ignition of that running back by committee with Montgomery and Gibbs, you got to think, this has elevated the profile for this Lions team a little bit more. <clears throat> and they want to avoid a playoff disaster of them having a great season and going home in the first round. That would be, ugh, it would be terrible. But you just got to ask yourself, is Jared Goff the guy that you want leading you into the future for this Lions team, to build this Lions team, to essentially be the leader moving forward. I know a lot of people said that that Matthew Stafford trade was to get Jared Goff there to be the placeholder for the next quarterback. After all, they did draft another quarterback out of Tennessee last year. They did take a draft pick and draft him, even though he's, he's hurt and he can't play. Now, the play hasn't been bad to the point where he needs to be yanked, but you got to keep in mind, Jared Goff still leaves things to be desired. So if I'm the Detroit Lions fans, I'm keeping my options open. I'm not committing a big contract to Jared Goff. Not a big one. Maybe year to year. But you guys chime in. All you NFL fans, chime in. Tell me what you think. Do you think Jared Goff is somebody that they should invest in long term? Is he the guy that's going to be that moving forward? Let me know in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And we'll see you on the very next video.